God's love is made complete in us. If we love one another, God lives in us and His love is made complete in us. 1 John chapter 4, verse 12 I learned early in life that bad stuff happens. It just shows up anytime making us innocent victims. Sometimes it drastically changes our lives. As a quiet and timid child, I usually kept to myself. That's who I was. But it was exacerbated when I was a preteen. I was sexually assaulted numerous times by an extended family man that my mom and dad trusted. I never told them. Instead, I hid my feelings and withdraw. Back in the 50s, no one talked about inappropriate touching or child's sexual predators. I was clueless and didn't know what to say, and my parents were having their own crisis. I became fearful and sad, completely nonchalant about life. Life went on, but fun times with my three younger brothers helped. Attending Sabbath school and church with my grandma gave some respite. I sang songs about Jesus and learned about God and His special love. Creepy feelings would sneak back in my mind occasionally. Why did God let these terrible things happen? He didn't stop them, so did He really love me? And how could a man in our family hurt me and still be bodies with my parents? I was emotionally conflicted, ashamed, angry, confused, fearful, and feeling worthless. It was impossible to discover who I was or dream about who I could be because trying to be normal was all I could handle. Bits of hope sometimes brought short-lived encouragement. Sad to say, but child sexual assault happens more times than we admit, in communities, churches, and even in our families. This trauma is rarely talked about, and when uncovered or divulged, it usually quickly buried. Victims suffer, often all their lives. It's taken almost 60 years to slowly overcome my pain and begin seeing gifts God planted within me which I couldn't nurture. Probably you know a woman like me with her own agonizing story of what she went through or is going through. People won't understand when she retreats, stuck in a dreadful past she can't forget, unable to live happily. We can make a difference through our empathy, compassion, kindness, and love. The love of God within each of us can help her become who God destined her to be. May we recognize the weight she bears. Let's diligently and willingly share God's love, a love that completed us and will complete her when she is finally ready to receive it. Iris L. Kaching. Share your thoughts about this devotions. God bless you.